Well, media organisations from all backgrounds and standings have united, demanding greater protection for journalists. The unprecedented press freedom campaign comes months after raids at journalists' homes and offices. This could be a sign of what's to come. Blank pages and heavily censored media. When the government hides the truth from you, what are they covering up? Over the last two decades, Australia's federal parliament passed more than 60 pieces of legislation related to secrecy. It's prevented media organisations from reporting on vital stories like aged care abuse, land sales to foreign companies and proposed new powers to spy on citizens. The tax office can take money directly out of people's accounts, but you're not allowed to know. There is a right to know what's going on in society and we have been saying for a long time that that right is being eroded and I think today you've seen we've, we've turned the volume up very significantly. Earlier this year, police conducted raids at the ABC and the home of a News Corp journalist targeted for publishing stories containing classified information. Now for the first time ever, all major media organisations in the country are standing together in solidarity for the Your Right to Know campaign, running across radio, print, digital and television. You can fall into the trap of thinking it's just about journalism until you think about actually if it's my life and something that touches me and my family or my community directly, then absolutely I have a right to know about it and, it's, and, and that right to know is carried out by journalists. News Corp Australasia's executive chairman Michael Miller says Australians should always be suspicious of governments that want to restrict their right to know what's going on. The campaign wants a number of legislative changes including the right to contest the application for warrants for journalists and media organisations, exemptions for journalists from laws that would put them in jail for doing their jobs and adequate protection for public sector whistleblowers. And what we're really strongly asking for is that the federal government has to acknowledge and protect the rights of the people who have the courage to raise the alarm when things go wrong. Research has shown while 87% of Australians value a free and transparent democracy where the public is kept informed, only 37% believe that's actually happening today. Charlotte Mortlock, Sky News.